And Hurricane Aaron, it could be much worse as we continue toward the peak of the season. Obviously, the seas have been rocky, to put it mildly, across Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia, and even up toward New Jersey, New York. Because of Aaron, it did grow in size, so the wind field increase and the higher seas have been an issue. Now, thankfully, the worst of the storm, the most devastating part, the center is going to remain well offshore. And in fact, conditions really not going to improve dramatically across the East Coast until we get more into late tomorrow night and into early Friday. That's when the storm starts to really quickly move into the North Atlantic as we head toward early next week, approaching as kind of a post tropical system, the British Isles. But otherwise, next day and a half or so, we'll say conditions along the East Coast will still be fairly rough with high surf and rip currents. Just again, as you've heard a lot of those folks say, if you're doing a vacationing or knowing when vacationing out there, stay out out of the water. We've got one wave that is coming off of West Africa. Models not really doing much with it. We have Invest 99 with only a medium chance of developing. And then our wave, which is finally starting to show some activity, having a high chance of development. This is not a forecasted cone. This is just indicating the area where this feature may try and organize. And what it looks to do is just follow wherever it does, follow right behind Aaron. Invest 99 is the one that may try and organize again, all be it probably not anything, at least based on the Hurricane Center's forecast. However, when you look at it on satellite, it certainly has that appearance of a broad circulation. Not certain if it's low level down at the surface. Regardless of that, the model's indicating basically a motion toward the west southwest, kind of staying at a fairly low latitude. And then notice how the models are kind of all over the place with it as we go through the weekend and early next week. What that is indicating is that the models are saying I don't think it's going to do anything. And that's what the Euro was saying. Notice the little complex of thunderstorms, but no real organization. The Euro, though, is indicating maybe a bit better organization again in that highlighted area, but it is just going to follow right behind the path of Aaron. A weakness in the upper high will allow that storm to just take its path out off the East Coast and away from land altogether.